Pushkin is not a story. Pushkin is a real life that changed me and continues to inspire me each day. Pushkin first came into my life in November of 1999 when I adopted him from Bidewe, the humane organization located in Midtown Manhattan. Pushkin and I enjoyed our first years here together in New York, including here at Riverside Park, before moving to Tucson and adding to our family, his dad, and his two brothers, Otis and Galileo. In 2006, Pushkin was diagnosed with red blood cell cancer. He lived with cancer for two and a half years before it was time for us to say goodbye on February 1st of 2009. Along with his grandma, grandpa, and dad, I went to the vet's office, held Pushkin in my arms, and was able to sing to him one more time. When Pushkin passed away, I was devastated. I'd never experienced the loss of someone close before, especially not in my home. Suddenly there was this silence. I didn't hear his paws coming down the hall, the shake that I would hear from the bedroom every morning when he woke up. So as part of my own healing process, I decided it would be a constructive thing to write a letter to him each day during the season of Lent, ending on Easter Sunday. Through the letters, I was able to spend time with him each day, and I was also able to sort through my own emotions and thoughts about life, death, and what comes next. And in the end of it, come out a little bit more hopeful and letting my relationship with Pushkin evolve. Inspired by how much letter writing helped me, I created a website where others could do the same when they were going through the loss of their own companion animals. On letters to pushkin.com, people are able to write letters to their own companion animals that they've lost. People have written letters to dogs, cats, fish, horses, ferrets, so many more beautiful words that really allow people to share the depth of their grief, the depth of their loss. It's a wonderful place where people can come together and know that other people understand. I'm so grateful to be able to share the spirit of Pushkin with you through the book and the website. In addition, 50% of the sales of the book goes to Bideway, the organization that first brought Pushkin and me together and is helping other families do the same each day.